Now you've got that down, I'm going to show you a few variations to make the pattern more interesting. First of all, on beat 3, we had the higher caravel on the right hand side. At the moment, this is just playing on the down beat of 3. We have a whole beat there where the right hand is doing nothing. So divide that into 16th notes, 3, E and A, and work through the permutations of possibilities on this caravel. And in the context of the groove, this is what it sounds like. The other thing I like to vary is the floor tom. Instead of playing it on the downbeat, you can play it on the E of 1, which gives a nice interaction with the tambourine and everything else that's going on. Also, you could play on the 1 and the E. These are the two main variations that I use. I'll play the groove now and put those variations in so you can hear how they sound. Okay, so that's most of the basic variations I like to play using 16th notes. Um, there are others you can do, play around, look at different permutations of things, just let your hands move to different instruments and see what you get. Maybe you'll find something nice. The other thing you can do to this pattern to make it more interesting, and the real essence of the whole Afro-Cuban feel, is to play it in triplets. The clave, as we've said earlier, works under 16th notes and under triplets without much change in it. Once you've got down the groove in the 16th fashion, you can probably play a triplet variation pretty easily. Um, the clave in the triplet feel is 1 triplet, 2 triplet, 3 triplet, 4 triplet, 1 triplet, 2 triplet, 3 triplet, 4 triplet, 1 triplet, 2 triplet, 3 triplet, 4 triplet, 1 triplet, 2 triplet, 3 triplet, 4 triplet. Um, so once you've got that down, playing the groove over the top, you probably won't find it too difficult. I'll demonstrate what it should sound like. Now the tension and release in this pattern, the thing that makes it really interesting is mixing and matching 16th notes and triplets. To practice this, take the foot ostinato and on the snare drum um, play 16ths and triplets mixed up. So divide the clave into four quarter notes with the bar. For some of them play 16ths and some of them play triplets. And you can mix and match how you like. Let me demonstrate.
Now with the groove, we're just going to apply the same logic. Parts of it play a 16th notes, parts of it play as triplets. Um, there's no specific order, it's just what feels right to you at the time. And we're not talking strictly metronomic here. Um, the whole feel of Afro-Cuban music is based on feel rather than counting. So stick some flams in there, stretch between them. It doesn't have to be exactly a triplet or exactly a quarter note. As long as that clave is going on underneath, everything will hang together. So just play around and have fun with it. So that's the groove. Keep in mind that it's not something that you would expect to learn in an hour or a day or a week or maybe even a month. You need to take it a step at a time, make sure that each step you take is nailed before you move on to the next and hopefully it should be a satisfying journey. I hope you enjoy this groove as much as I have. Thank you and I'll see you next time.